I'm John Casassa. Uh, I took a fall on the concrete and, and injured my shoulder. It turned out to be the bicep tendon. I uh, had surgery back in uh, February of 2010. Uh, the injury was in October of 2009. So uh, it was quite a distance of time or uh, a lapse between the actual injury and the surgery. And by the time uh, I had the surgery in February, uh, my mobility was essentially uh, zero. Um, couldn't couldn't uh, uh, lift weights, exercise, golf, or any of the things that I normally do. Pick up anything per se. It was in pain. Couldn't sleep. Um, and then, a of course, after the surgery, there was another month where Dr. Savoy wanted me to remain in a splint um, before I could even start physical therapy. So, uh, after five or six months of uh, injury to surgery to post-surgery therapy. I was in a world of, of hurt from a mobility standpoint, and uh, it was it was very very difficult. The early parts of physical therapy were uh, challenging to say the least. I had uh, some bone spurs and arthritis in, in the shoulder. Movement was uh, very very limited, but slowly over time, uh, it started getting better and better. And when I say over time, over a number of months, and uh, I can't remember the exact month at the Dynasplint. I think we started in May uh, of, of 2010, um, uh, I guess. And once I started using the Dynasplint uh, to supplement the physical therapy uh, sessions, uh, things seemed to uh, accelerate. I, I could get a good stretch and, and the machine was able to uh, was able to adjust the machine with great support from the uh, representative from Dynasplint. Uh, very supported uh, on uh, phone calls and emails. I kept track of the workouts and, and she suggested when I should make uh, changes to the uh, settings on the device. Um, she came up to my office and showed me how it works because I, I, my schedule is uh, very much uh, demanding so uh, all her the appointments were set and, and she was on time, diligent, and really appreciate that uh, support from from the company. We just took it slow. I, I did it uh, um, several times per day for, for a number of weeks and, and we, we increased the resistance over time. At first I could only do it for a, a couple of minutes and, and made, it, made it up to almost 30 minutes I guess uh, and before we changed the setting. Okay. So uh, really a, a slow process but one that really supplemented the physical therapy that, that I was getting only three times a week for an hour so I think the, the Dynasplint was a key to my recovery. We finished physical therapy formally in uh, November or December of last year and then I continued on for uh, maybe three or four months more with the Dynasplint after that before I, I uh, quit using the device. I believe in July of uh, 2011, Dr. Savoy released me. Uh, I have essentially full range of motion now, and I'm back to lifting weights and, and uh, exercising and golfing, which is one of my favorite hobbies. So that's all, all good. Um, so really have no restrictions moving forward. He is a little concerned about uh, bone spurs and arthritis redeveloping, so I'm on uh, uh, glucosamine, and I still do about 10 minutes of exercise per day, uh, not with a device, but just with a band and, and, and some uh, light weights. But okay. uh, pretty much, hopefully, I am where I'll, I'll be, but I'm satisfied with that. Uh, when you consider where I was, the, the physical therapist at one point in this process wasn't sure that he could do anything else for me. Uh, it was pretty depressing, but uh, with continued therapy and the use of the Dynasplint, I was able to uh, bring back my range of motion to, uh, to essentially 100% or close.